hit the like button and comment to join other airsofters in the conversation. What's up airsofters? It's another exciting video where I share my favorite top things in airsoft with you guys. And we're talking about my favorite airsoft optics in this video, all nine of them in fact. Now it is worth stating that there are dozens if not hundreds of available optics for airsoft use. Everything from purpose-built replica stuff um, to the real firearm recoil rated optics and there's a wide price range for everything. I tried to concentrate in this video on most of the things that I thought were priced decently for airsoft and things that were, you know, not necessarily overbuilt so that you weren't paying a lot of money. Also, while I am going to be going kind of nine to one, it really isn't a rating of not as good to best good. It really is uh, kind of a, a list of most specific to most universal. All of them are my favorites. Let's get on with it. Coming in at number nine on my list is one of the most specific options for airsoft. And by that, I mean, it's a sniper scope and it really kind of has its place on a sniper or I suppose a DMR platform. This is the Matrix 3 to 9 by 50 illuminated reticle sniper scope. What's cool about it is not only is it available in black, but it's available in tan. In fact, these are so popular that they've been out of stock for a while while we're waiting on the new logos to arrive and the really cool tan version to become available. They come with a couple scope covers as well as a sunshade on both the black and tan versions. They also come included with scope rings, so you really don't have to buy anything extra to get it working on your platform. I think they have a really nice eye relief. I think they're really easy to adjust for windage and elevation, and it has an easy to use zoom that I think is also perfectly matched for the distances of airsoft guns. Price wise, these come in at about $79, $80 usually. And I think a really cool thing to do in this video is show you how they look through the camera as if it was your eyes. Does that make sense? So if you'll focus your attention over here, Mason's going to lift the scope in front of the camera lens, which hopefully will give you a good idea of what the crosshairs look like. Uh, although, because this specific one is a sniper scope, I'm only five feet from the camera, so it's gonna be pretty blurry. Thankfully, this scope is perfect because at any distance you're gonna be engaging people in airsoft. Not only is it zoom adjustable, but it has a focus ring at the back to really sharpen up the viewable range um, to give you the best eyes on target possible. I don't know if you can see me waving, but I was waving. Coming in at number eight on my favorite airsoft optics is this bad boy right here. This is the Aim Sports XPF series one to four by 24 millimeter variable zoom rifle optic with the illuminated reticle. Throw this aside for a second so we can talk about the LPVO itself. This is how it comes in the box. Now on our rifle here, we have it on a slightly different mount, but the XPF does come included with two scope ring mounts. So you don't have to buy anything extra. When you buy the optic, you can mount it to any platform right out of the box. Some of the things that I like about the XPF, one, it's compact size, two, it's got three colors of illumination, red, green, and blue, all with variable uh, intensities. The batteries are commonly available. It comes with lens covers. And most importantly, it's got excellent eye relief, really good performance. It's very easy to zero. And the zoom capabilities are again, perfect for your airsoft engagements. Shorter than with a sniper rifle, this one to four is gonna be better for closer engagements, much like you would have with a rifle like a DDM4A1, and it won't break the bank. I think this would be a great option for just about every rifle out there. And it saves on going with something like a holographic sight or a red dot sight with a magnifier. That will end up being more weight and more bulk than just going with a low powered variable optic like this. Just like the sniper scope, it also has an adjustable focus ring so that you can really get that crisp picture based on the zoom that you're using. This comes in at about $150, $152, I think, on our website right now. Um, they're pretty commonly available. They rarely go out of stock, and they're an excellent option for you. Once again, direct your attention over here. Lift that optic into view. Can you see me? 
great. Well, I hope this kind of illustrates the difference between a sniper scope and an LPVO like the Aim Sports XPF. You get a little bit, you know, lower zoom, but I think a little bit more practical in, you know, standard engagement distances for a rifle. What you're seeing now is the green illuminated reticle at the center. You also have the option, like I said, between red and blue. Personally, I think green works the best, the most, but you know, that's completely up to you. Moving up to number seven on my list of favorite airsoft optics is a little bit more universal than my first two choices with the ability to be mounted on a wider variety of platforms and still look the part. Also has really classic looks. It's the GNP M4 type red dot sight. Now, there are a couple reasons I like this one. First, it's powered by a single AA battery and has a variable brightness setting at the back. It also comes with a rubberized protector and it's one of the only scopes on this list to come with a kill flash. Now, if you don't know what a kill flash is, not only does it knock down on the reflective coating of the lens at the front, but it also makes for really good insurance when it comes to protecting your lens. This is sacrificial gets damaged, you can always find another one. You won't be shelling out for an all new optic, which I really, really like. It's also adjustable for windage and elevation on the two adjustments there. And because of the large knurled quick detach uh, base, you can swap it between different rifle platforms really, really easily without tools. And I like that. This also is made completely of aluminum, which means that it's very robust. And with the nine brightness settings, I guarantee you're not gonna find an engagement where you can't see the red dot. Matter of fact, let's take a look at it. Now that we've got the zoom optics out of the way, we're gonna switch back to this camera to show you guys what it looks like through the actual lens of the optic. Go ahead and raise that up. As you can see, the red dot is nice and clear, well-defined, and the ARD or kill flash that we have mounted to the front really doesn't disturb your view. With nine brightness levels, again, you're gonna have clear sight on your red dot no matter the engagement, whether you're outdoors or indoors. This probably comes in at 60 bucks, which I think is great value for a really unique and very cool looking red dot. Number six on my list is unique looking, and I thought it pertinent to put it on a very unique looking rifle. This is the Phantom Gear HD 17. It's solar powered and it has a low glare tinted lens. Now this one can be mounted with two thumb screws on the opposite side here. Give you an idea of what that looks like. Now, some of you might recognize this as being a very unique silhouette, and I really like that there's a replica of another optic in Airsoft. It is adjustable for windage and elevation, or windage and elevation, elevation. Windage, elevation. It's adjustable. Uh, and something I really like, which you'll see in just a moment, is that the lens, the tinted lens, can actually be rotated kind of like a a polarizer. So depending on whether you're uh, indoors and don't want any polarization or you're outdoors and need a little bit of glare reduction, you can spin that front lens to give you both options. The red dot is nice and clear and its unique looks go on just about everything. And for a retail price of about 75 bucks, I think you really can't beat it in terms of uniqueness. Let's take a look at how this looks through the lens. Now then, let's lift this baby into view so you guys can get an idea of how it looks through the red dot itself. One of the nice things about red dots is that they have no eye relief. Simply tilt your head to, so that you can see the red dot, and as long as you've zeroed it, they're always gonna be on target for you. One of the coolest things about this one, though, like I mentioned, is the ability to rotate the glass on the front lens to either tint it or remove that tint for better anti-glare. Aha, pretty good, huh? Yeah. It's, uh, it's nice. Number five on my list of favorite airsoft optics is probably the most futuristic and unique looking of the entire group. This is the Vism Line by NC Star SPD Combat Solar Powered Red Dot Reflex Sight. It looks super cool from both sides. It's got a really cool riser that's on a QD mount, but I think the coolest thing about it 
are the covers. So you can see that the covers are mounted to the SPD Combat. But by pressing one button at the rear and one button at the front, you can rotate those covers out of the way. They stay attached to the optic in a really cool way. Uh, and honestly, I think that's the most fun part of the whole thing is flipping the covers out of the way. I mean, it's a great optic, don't get me wrong. Like the red dot's really nice, but I could literally just buy this and do this all day, every day, and feel like the coolest guy on the airsoft field. But let's give you guys a view of what it looks like through the lens. So without further ado, let's take a look. Wait, you can't see me. Open those covers. Yes, I know. You and I both are gonna be doing that every time. But hopefully you can get an idea of how the red dot actually looks. It's nice and crisp. It looks super clean. It's easy to adjust. The optic is adjustable for windage and elevation, and you have several different power levels. The buttons are nice and tactile as well. You hold them both down to turn it off and hold the up arrow to turn it on. I'd be willing to bet that this is also recoil rated, but don't take my word for it. After all, this is airsoft optic. It comes in at about 120 bucks retail right now. This isn't awkward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One more time. Yep. All right, everyone, who's ready for number four? Now, number four is a classic in Airsoft. It's a standard 1x30. This one's the Matrix Military Type 1x30. It's a red and green illuminated red dot sight with a QD cantilever mount. I know that these have been around in Airsoft for a long time and you can get varieties of all of them, but this one happens to be my favorite. It's got really robust build quality. I love that it comes with the angled cantilever mount as opposed to the kind of the 90 degree one. And this one's available in two different colors, black and tan. Now this one by 30 is a dial activation, meaning you can turn it on and off with the rotation of a dial. But keep your eye out for the push button activated one. If you like buttons instead of dials, um, same profile, but kind of a, a more modern trigger or mo modern activation design, which I really like. This is, of course, like all the other optics I've shown, adjustable, and it comes with flip up covers. I also like that these covers are nice and solid. Like usually when you get you know, covers that are included, they're like pretty flimsy, and when you try to open them and then reseat them, you don't have a whole lot of confidence. But I really like that these not only have a strong spring, but also click back into place, and you know that you're protecting your optic from damage. Really, really nice. But I'm sure you wanna know what it looks like looking through the lens. Let's go ahead and raise that up, Mason, so we can get an idea of how that looks. Again, the thing I love about red dots is you don't need to worry about eye relief. And for the majority of the distances you're gonna be firing in airsoft, you aren't gonna need that zoom unless you've got a DMR or something that reaches out to far distances. So for everything CQB, stubby, uh, or kind of like you know general field play related, uh, this is gonna be a perfect option for you. The red dot, or green dot in this case, is nice and clear. The robust build quality of this 1x30, I think it makes for excellent value, especially considering this thing only comes in at 45 bucks. Number three on my list continues the trend to more and more universality. Is that a word, Mason? It's a word, universality. It's more universal. Number three on my list is one of the newest additions to the EMG lineup in terms of accessories. This is the EMG RAID pistol micro dot red dot sight. What I like about it is it's a really small form factor, which makes it universal for both pistols as well as really short PDW um, or PCC style AEGs as we've got here. Now, obviously this one's on a riser and we've mounted it to a UTG riser, which is super compact and doesn't add a whole lot of weight. You can also get the UTG riser on our website. It pairs perfectly with the EMG RAID red dot sight and the EMG RAID red dot sight is really, really durable thanks to its aluminum construction. It's got a 500 hour runtime. It's got 10 brightness levels. It fits Trigicon RMR profile mounting options. So if you wanted to remove it from the included Picatinny low profile rail mount and you wanted to mount it direct, it will fit the same mounting options 
as the, uh, the Trigicon RMR profile mounts. Let's take a closer look at how it arrives to you in the box. It comes with a rubberized protective cover, and once you remove that, you can get a better idea of the actual size and profile of the EMG RAID. The Picatinny mount on the bottom here, this does use a star-type Torx. Thankfully, that is included in the box so that you can mount it really easily. Here's your on and off buttons, plus and minus. You can hit them on. Mm-hmm. Did I put batteries in this? Have I done it again? Is that twice in one video? We'll be right back. Let's go ahead and bring that red dot up into view, and I think you'll immediately see one of the huge advantages of micro red dots like this. Because it's got a really small housing and a slim profile, it presents a huge advantage when acquiring a target really quickly because you're not hunting for that red dot. So drop your head and it's immediately visible. That makes it advantageous for pistols and really small platforms like PDWs and PCC platforms. This one is not only really robust, but it has a nice bright red dot that can be turned on with the press of the plus button and turned off by holding both the plus and minus together. And since it's made in conjunction between EMG and Sun Optics USA, it's a really high quality piece that comes in retailing just about 150 bucks. Now I know that seems like a lot, but it's really good. And considering the cost of other RMR style pistol mountable red dots on the market, it's kind of a good deal. All right, Airsofters, number two on my list of favorite Airsoft optics will probably come as no surprise to many of you. It's a T1. And the T1 is one of the most popular red dots in Airsoft, not only because they're affordable, but because they're small, compact, they fit on just about everything. It's this one in particular that's my favorite. This is the evic.com T1 Micro Reflex red and green dot sight with riser. This one is made in conjunction between evic.com and Aim Sports. It's got excellent build quality, and it comes with a feature that I honestly prefer over some of the other T1s on the market, and that's that not only is it made from aircraft-grade aluminum, it has a one-inch riser that's removable and is still mountable to your gun. So here it is. And traditionally, on a T1, T1 replica, you have the T1 mounted to a riser. Usually they're a one inch riser, but once you remove that riser, you negate the T1's ability to mount anything. But on this one, once you remove the riser, you still have a Picatinny clamp that allows the T1 to be mounted super low profile. So if you're using this between a variety of guns or if you change platforms and you need a lower mount or a higher mount, you retain the ability to do that without having to buy anything extra. And I really, really like that. The red dot on this is nice and sharp. Don't take my word for it. Let's take a look. Okay, and here it is. It's a red dot. Give me that back. One other thing I wanted to point out was the adjustments. What I like about this optic that is shared by other T1s but is lacking on all of the other optics in my top or favorites list is the fact that this is a toolless adjustment for windage gen elevation. Each cap has two studs that correspond with two holes on each adjustment post, allowing you to make those adjustments without having an extra tool with you. That, and even if you didn't want to use this riser, because it's a T1, it's compatible with standard T1 optics risers. So you've got even more options when it comes to mounting this to just about every platform in Airsoft except maybe sniper rifles. That might look a little awkward. But at airsoft distances, maybe it won't even matter. This retails for about $55. Before we get to my number one choice, I've got an honorable mention. This honorable mention is not an optic at all. In fact, it's an optic accessory. One of the worst things that can happen in Airsoft is to spend any amount of money on an optic, get it zeroed, go out on the field, and then have your lens shot out. And so protecting those lenses, with either an anti-reflective device or a flash kill or kill flash, or a lens cover can be a great piece of insurance to protecting your investment in optics. And one of my favorite brands when it comes to protecting lenses is Hugger. Awkward empty box shot. What I mean is Hugger. 
Inside this uh, blue protective coating is a lens cover protector for an Aimpoint T1 or T1 style optic. They give you a rubberized protective sleeve paired with a very nicely produced polycarbonate lens cover. What I particularly like about Hugger is their attention to detail. Not only are they CNC cut, so you get a really precise lens cover size, but their polycarbonate lenses are shipped in protective coverings so that when you take it out of the bag or box that it comes in, there is no damage at all to the lens, giving you a really, really clear view through your optic and its protective cover. Simply remove it from the cling film that protects the lens itself, slide it into the rubberized cover, and then you've got insurance for protecting your T1 or any other airsoft optic you have. See how easy that was to install? I mean, obviously, I'm not gonna use the clear cover because someone's gonna be able to use this. But if you're looking for a little bit of extra insurance protecting your optics, Hugger's the way to go. Check them out on our website. Now then, number one. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, my number one choice, the very best, my very favorite airsoft optic available today. It's so good and so popular, it's almost never in stock. We just can't keep them. Every time we get new ones in stock, they're purchased almost immediately. Maybe I'm up selling it too much, but it really is that good. In fact, I don't even have one in stock to show you. So instead, roll the clip. What's up Airsofters? These unassuming goggles are the all new night vision goggles. Even in the darkest of nights, you get a clear view of the night sky. We've darkened our office behind us. Let's give these bad boys a test. Simply place them on, giving you a clear view of the night sky. Get them at evic.com. All right guys, that just about covers it. My favorite, honestly, eight favorite optics in Airsoft currently available. Obviously, there are dozens and dozens of other choices. And these just happen to be the ones that I gravitate to every time that I'm selecting an optic for one of my Airsoft guns. Hopefully, you found this a little bit helpful. But if you're in the comments section and you feel like you've got a favorite optic choice that you think people need to hear about, or something that I forgot, or something that you wish someone would have suggested to you when you were looking for some Airsoft optics, please comment that in the section below. Below, as these are just my favorites and I'm sure there are plenty of other excellent options out there. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later. Want even more airsoft content? Hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon.